welcome back to the garage. We're still trying to get this thing 100% dialed so we can put it in the chassis for the last time. Let me turn this around and I'll show you what All right, first things first, we have to make sure that the throwout bearing is correct and that the dimensions uh, are right, that we're within the variance of what McLeod says uh, their throwout bearing should be in. So, so not be saying I got this entire setup for my car through DNZ Customs. Okay, um, there's only a few Tremec dealers in the country. Silver Sport is one of them. Obviously, there's a few more. But um, uh, Randy at DNZ, he's got a great rel relationship as a vendor for them. And uh, I know everybody always says, hey, call this guy. You know, I got a great deal. But I did. I shopped the dog snot out of this thing. Came with the bell housing. Came with the drive shaft. Came with the throw out. Everything to install this into your C3. All right. Like any part, when you get it, there's directions. Okay. McLeod 1400 series uh, hydraulic throwout bearing instructions. All right. Now, whether you get the 1300 or the 1400, the instructions are very similar as far as how you get these dimensions. And they're the same, right? The, the thing is, is when I bought mine, all right, they sent me a fixed bearing. So this is a 1300 series bolt on hydraulic throwout bearing. Okay. Really nice piece. Comes with the bearing, this assembly, and uh, 350 thousandths. Uh, shims. Okay. All right. So the first dimension you have to come up with is dimension A. You measure from the contact area of the clutch to the transmission mounting surface for the transmission. My dimension was 3.193 thousandths. Okay. Dimension B is going to be from the mounting surface of the trans on the transmission to the contact surface of the bearing. <clears throat> okay. That's dimension B. Okay. So uh, when I originally did this with the bolt-on bearing, these were my dimensions for A and B, okay? So dimension A was 3.54, 3.1, .1, gosh dang it, 3.154, and my dimension B was 2.76, and these are inches, right? Um, they want you to subtract A and B, and here's your dimension. This is my actual dimension, uh, 0.394 thousandths. Okay, hold on right. one second. So here's the dilemma. McLeod clearly states that if your dimension at the end of the day on A, this one right here, is over three, um, not less than, but if it's more than three, I should be using a slip-on style hyd hydraulic throwout bearing. So I was originally given the incorrect throwout bearing. Not anybody's real mistake. When you're building these, you really try to put together the best information you can. I didn't know what clutch I was running at the time, I don't think. So that's what they gave me. All right. So the end, at the end of the day, what we're trying to get to is the dimension between the bearing contact surface and the clutch contact surface. And that dimension has to qualify with what McLeod gives you in order for this to properly self-adjust. Okay? And self-adjusting happens when you bleed everything out and you know, get price. So as you can see with the bolt on uh, shimmed all the way out, and there are some other options as far as changing the piston out in this, but uh, I called McLeod and spoke to a gentleman there that uh, clearly knew what he was talking about. And he basically said I was in the gray area. Oopsie doos. Uh, I was in the gray area between the two and that I should actually go with the uh, slide on version. So you can see the difference. Uh, and I'll go over what the tolerances are. So if you see here, this is for the bolt-on hydraulic throwout. Here's my dimension currently, okay? And in order for it to properly self-adjust, I have to be between 100 thousandths and 250 thousandths. So I'm clearly well over that, which means I could probably damage that, uh, blow it out, um, it's not going to work. It's not within the tolerances of that actual bearing. I can't okay. say enough about McLeod and Silver Sport. Um, this was on a Friday afternoon. Made a couple phone calls. They picked up. Actually, McLeod's down a person, so they're hammered. They're so busy. 
but he did take the time. He was polite. He was cool. And I gave him the information. He asked me where I bought it, where I went through. He said, call Silver Sport and talk to Shane, or he gave me another guy's name. So anyways, uh, everybody cooperated. They walked me through this. They answered the phone. They answered my questions multiple times, right? And uh, let me go over kind of the, the end result was this isn't going to function correctly because my it's, it's too far away from the actual clutch, okay? They send me this unit. But when you, when you have this unit, you do not have a retainer bearing or a bearing retainer. So they send you one of these to put back on this unit. They send you a threaded sleeve that the throw-out bearing, the new slide-on throw-out bearing threads onto. And um, then you go through the same process. So the long and short, this is the long. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, 1300 series is what they sent me. McLeod said I need to call Silver Sport and get a 1400 series. So we just went over what that is. You have to set that bearing up, getting the same dimensions from the same areas, clearly, okay? Um, I'm not even gonna get into pedal assembly because I haven't even done that yet. But um, <laughs> I remeasured everything again. My dimension uh, is a little bit bigger than I originally, I must not have measured it correctly. <clears throat> But my dimension A was 3.193. After many conversations with Silver Sport, I'm right on the edge of uh, the tolerances for this particular bearing. Um, but after I thread it maybe one or one and a half, maybe even two threads max on that, on that bushing, my dimension is 3.078, which at the end of the day, I have... 115 thousandths clearance. Okay, it's great news because the new tolerance you need to be at is between 100 thousandths and 150 thousandths. Now these directions tell you <clears throat> to do an original measurement with it adjusted all the way down. And essentially what you can kind of come up with is that I almost had to thread that throwout bearing all the way out uh, to get in the window that I needed to get into. So at the end of the day, this thing's hanging on about two threads. And I was really reluctant uh, about that. But on the phone with Silver Sport, while they had a TKX and the same assembly on their uh, workbench, just verifying. And they put all the notes in their system on my order because I was like, look, I want this thing warrantied. You know, I just want to document. And they like, all the notes are in there. You're good to go. Send it. So <clears throat> they said they only need about a thread and a half in order for this to be secured, which is fine with me. I mean, literally, the bushing ends right here. <laughs> so the long, the long and short of it all is that I'm ready to rock and roll. This thing is set up, and uh, we're good to go. We're ready to so install. big thank you to... Uh, uh, Randy Johnson at DNZ Customs. That guy is awesome. He's funny. Also, he's he's hilarious. But anyways, the dude hooked me up. I got a great deal on this. Everybody says they get a great deal on all their stuff. Call my guy, whatever. I shopped the snot out of this thing. And uh, I think, I, I can't remember the price, but I think I was at least two, three hundred dollars less than you know the three or four other people that are selling these. So I know this one wasn't uh, action packed, because all my videos are action packed. Anyways, there's a little bit of a, a, a rundown on this process. I think it's important and I don't know if there's enough coverage on it. I haven't looked on YouTube much for it, but it's easy. Anybody can do this. Dial indicator, I got $30 in a dial indicator and a mounting uh, setup from Harbor Freight. And um, it's, you know, it's certainly gonna work. It's certainly, you know, it's not rocket science either. So. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I think I'm going to share with you guys all the chrome I picked up the other day here pretty soon. So excited about that. We were literally two weeks from starting this car. Guarantee it. It's happening. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.